we are getting ready to go test the 55 first time out since sick week did pretty good at sick week but um we were in competition then and we didn't get to try a bunch of stuff switch converters change transmissions try to lower 60 foot times so we are getting ready to head to nhra chicago presented by peak um it's at us 66 it's going to be may 19th to the 21st and we're going to be doing an eight car shootout myself tom bailey brian goldstone steve morris great group of eight cars are going to be there racing so we want to make sure the 55 is ready and in the best shape possible uh, to go hang out with our peak family there it's going to be a great time really cool deal getting to go to a national event so dad has spent the last week uh getting the 55 in tip-top shape but after a week of street driving and racing the car still looked great internally engine components and everything was good so lots going on at the shop but we're doing a private track rental tomorrow at tulsa it's gonna be a good day we should get a lot of data so uh go check out the sites then we can go test What are you doing? Alex is go go juice. Told her she's a gas hog. She needs to drive an electric vehicle. Yeah, I think she's an alcoholic. <laughs> a mess of hog. That's even worse. Oh. Press that. Cut. Uh, twice. Edit. I like poodles. Blueberry. I guess Mika's going. She got in the very front for packing order. She's not gonna miss this. Awesome she time. literally busted through everything, crawled <laughs> over. Okay, just another girl in. Okay. Do you want to go? Do you want to go <laughs> racing? She said, "You're not leaving without me." That's the best she can do. She can't actually say it. I understand. Display. Don't you worry. You're going racing. It does smell good, it's just strong. All right, uh, this is the Austrian segment. So this is Tom's new shop, which is about that far from Dad's shop. Because technically this is Dad's shop that he's leasing to Tom Kastner. This is Karina, this is Lily. They just moved from Austria. You've probably seen them. If not, you'll see them more. Tom has the NAS, what's he call this? He has the NAS Carlo. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna have him take it to the drag strip tomorrow. So he just put some radials on it and had to fix his transmission leak and then pinched a wire in his O2 sensor so it's not running great. So he's fixing that now. Uh, but it's gonna be his first drag strip passes in America. Got it? Okay, can you examine it and see if it's... Well, it doesn't even go to anything. It goes to the O2 sensor. Yeah, so. but I'm saying like it, they're, they tie together and they have, um, like it's got, it's just heat shrink. Okay, there's another wire there. There's a black one. Can you reach back there and pull, or right there, pull up. Oh, it's in there too. Is this your first American drag strip pass? Yep. I bet this track will be better prepped than any track over there. Yep. Man, it's a real racetrack. Have you ever raced on a real racetrack over there or just airports? Just airports. So it's going to be cool because if he can get this thing fixed, he's got freedom out the wazoo. He can just roll up there like he owns a place and make a pass. That's you can put more passes on this thing tomorrow than you've ever made in your life. That's right.
What's our fastest eighth mile? Nick, what's the fastest eighth? I'll pull up off that wall. I'm gonna open that one up just so we have something to compare. I think to. that tune up is what gave you the, your fastest eighth mile. Yeah, it was. Maybe, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe it needs to have a little bit of height like on the bars. Power. I think you'll see when you see this. It's what? Just looks like it kind of bogged. Not really bogged, but it looks like it needs more power, like it cooled it down. For the first time ever, the bars are planted all the way past 60. I mean, they're on the ground, and the front end can't come off the ground, so I think it's yeah. it's levering the back tires up a little. Okay, Tom. We're continuing the Austrian segment. <laughs> Are you excited for yes. today? First time in my own car on an American track with my own trailer and my own truck. I mean, look at you. You're very <laughs> bougie right now. You were like, I mean, Alex is going through things over there. So you have the whole place. The whole, the whole racetrack. Just Technically for just for you, for your first time. That's pretty fancy. Yep. That's so cool. Thanks for the invitation. Race car problems. <laughs> Done. American drag strip standing at the starting line I'm nervous but this this car is not fast so it's just a fun day on the track <laughs> up here. I got him through his burnout. Do you want to introduce Kim to all of your people? If you guys get a mean comment or if you make a mean comment, this is the one that gets on there and rips you up. That's right. We got to look after my girls. So uh, Meg has a VP of randomness. She also mean to me. Meg's VP of randomness. She's always mean to me too. Just so you don't know. She's mean. She's head me. of security. <laughs> but good job. I was like, I wonder if anybody's up there to direct Tom. Hey. And then I walked up and Kim's like, that's right. All I right, got lots yep. of practice with Land the angle. Land the plane on the strip right here. Pull it forward. All right, hold. That's right. That's right. The only thing you didn't do was. Uh, well, it's not Jim. It's not the hub. <laughs> so I don't think he would appreciate that. That's Karina's job. That's Karina's job. <laughs> Go ahead. So first time on the racetrack in the U.S. What can I say? It was so nice. It ran 14, so it's a slow turd, but it was fun. But it's your slow American turd. Yes, that's right. I think you've got it down to the science. Okay, we can go down. All right, so you guys probably saw in my last video, we, I have a new Turbo 400. Um, so we had that in the car on the first pass, and that is very similar to the one that we ran at all of Sick Week. Dad's old transmission, all reliable now. Mine has a 210 gear set. Dad's has a 186 gear set. We were, when we originally brought the 55 out, we had a 186 in it, switched over to a 210, but now that the car's making a little more power, we want to try out that 186. So now that we have a baseline, with the transmission that was in at first, which is my new one with the 210. Uh, we went ahead and swapped it out because it's running pretty equal to where it was when it ran its 690 in Bradenton, which was a 453 at 165 in the eighth. So now that we have that baseline, went ahead and swapped the transmission out just for, cause you know, that's what we do around here. But we want to test out that 186 gear set um, with a little bit looser converter than what we've previously been running. So a couple things we wanted to test, test today was transmissions because we have the two different gear sets. We want to test converters because we have a 
looser and a tighter converter. Um, yeah. One we've been running, but we want to have a comparison to a looser one. And then we also want to test, we are running M1 methanol from VP. Um, we're going to try M5 today if we have time. So a couple different things. First time we actually get to do some comparative data testing, which is really exciting. So transmission swapped, getting ready to go out for pass two, probably going to do a quarter mile pass and then get a baseline and then start figuring out what we want to change, what we want to compare, probably to make some eighth miles because we really need to make up some time in the eighth mile. That's where we got some room to make up. Oh, best mile oh, per hour nice. ever. 210. Oh, you're actually seeing this time. <laughs> you are, yeah. 693 at 210 miles an hour in a 55 Chevy. That's pretty friggin' cool. And it just went straight. It was so nice. 210. Was that 210? That was 210. It felt fast slowing down, but at 702 at 210? 693. 693? At 210. Dang! That's good. I don't know where that came from. I mean, it was, it was just relaxed looking. 210 though. I'm creeping up on my f highest mile an hour ever. Because what was, was but well on this, yeah, but what was Bumblebee? I ran oh, two, 212. 212. Getting close in my shoebox. Granted, that was an eight. Second pass, 13.9. Still a little bit room for improvements because I forgot to turn off my line lock and something on my brake stuck. I don't know. But yeah, it's getting better and better, faster and faster for a turd. <laughs> American turd. <laughs> It looks fitting. <laughs> okay, so um, this has taken a while, like by a while I mean a couple hours, maybe an hour. Dad had the idea of sticking, this is Karina, this is Tom's wife, uh, Karina. They're Austrian, so she's not actually silent. She's just not gonna talk to you right now. But the main thing is we <laughs> have convinced her to take a pass in Tom's car with Tom as passenger. This is exciting. So she won't take her helmet off and I don't want her to because then she might not put it back on. So <laughs> we're gonna get her in there while we can. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mess up. You won't mess up. You can't mess up. It's like leaving a stoplight. <laughs> Buckle your helmet. Yeah! <laughs> it went faster yeah! than 
<laughs> With both of look, I, have, I got goosebumps. What was his fastest? 1390 <laughs> something. <laughs> That's awesome. It's because she, it's probably because she didn't stall it. That's probably what I'm saying. She, I, I think she did better because she just went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That was awesome. That was awesome. That was nice. You beat him. <laughs> By a lot. Yeah, but oh, with him. With him the in there. Kick him out and go really be beat him. <laughs> Good what did job. You think? What did you think? It was really cool. You liked it? Yeah. Are you hooked? Yeah. See, you <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good Dankeschön. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. Yeah, you did yeah, good. Yeah, that was good. Good job. You still ran the, you ran, it doesn't make, that doesn't change your time. <laughs> good job, guys. That was me. Job, hey, Nico, you got a 13 and a half second car. <laughs> Who is that, Mika? It was that a made a hot. big difference. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Man, it looked good though. It was. It just it was just right on that fine line. Oh, you think she got out of the groove? I was watching well, the power. Well, no, just power. too much just... wheel speed. Okay. I was looking at the phone and couldn't even tell. Yeah, look at the black marks. I mean, it's only some... a 121, 65. So let's look at the wheel speed and then look at. I'll look at the video and then. And yeah, because by the time I got it to correct, because like. It was so, it, I've never felt it full like that. Like normally it's like a little input makes a big difference, but it was like, I had to like really It was power. It like a totally different car. It was, it was powering the thing over. Well, that's what it is. Better, but it wasn't good it enough. A lot straighter, but it just. Better. So on the pass before, it's making more power. We're trying to make it make more power down low, and it was steering from the power. Um, so we made a chassis adjustment, a bar adjustment actually, and it was better, but it was still steering that time. And then I saw. I believe a little bit of fuel puked on that one, so I lifted, and then when I saw fuel, I lifted again. So, a couple changes, but we're getting there. Blew do both doors off. Both windows out of the car. Windshield and rear windshield and front windshield. Good lord. She said both doors came off. Yeah, both doors and a glass. Oh man. 
Tell Tom Bailey his doors are getting stolen. Glass. Trim. I'm not being a, a D-bag and not helping her. I'm just trying to document it before it all gets picked up. I'm going to help her. Don't worry, guys. Oh, man. Dennis is going to be heartbroken. On the bright side, she did go 212 mile an hour. I literally blew my own doors off. Not one, but two. I thought you hit the flock of birds that came flying no, out when you took off. This. I'm really distraught because I love my car, but it could be a lot worse. So I, I was, no, hang on, before you see it, this is how it happened. So I am trying to shut down and I get a face full of windshield. Bam! It smacks me in the face. <laughs> and I'm like, no! And so I hit the, the parachutes, and then I'm like, okay, that's not slowing down very fast. And it's just chaos. There's plastic flying in. Then I'm like, is there a GoPro? No. So then I get out, and I'm like, oh god, there's one of the doors. And I'm like, and the windshield. Pull along. And then I'm like, oh wait, it's the other door. And then I'm like, oh wait. Shoot, only one shoot came out. I guess we're done for the day. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Man, two, okay guys, 210 is the mark. 212, you blow stuff apart. 210, you know what though, I am glad because it's only the outer door skins because dad would be really upset if it was the inners because those aren't fun to build. Well, I mean, there's a Nomad that I feel like we'll probably just take the doors off of. Sorry, Tom. Not It'll be alright. <laughs> Dadgum. And you say I break this. stuff all the time. So this comes like this. Wham! Smacks me You almost face. just cut me in half. Oh, boy. Aww. This came in and whacked me in the face. You know what happened? It caved that windshield in, and then it blew everything exactly. else out. Exactly, that's what I told you. Uh -huh. Once the pressure got Don't inside, look at the other side. it popped everything You know what, Dad? At least these are repairable. Oh, man, not easily. Not. Oh. Same old crap, different day. So I guess Tom Yeah, Black this door is no good at all. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> How are we going to do this in a week and a half? I guess I should have listed sooner. It's a healthy sooner. piece of glass, too. Sorry. Not the thing you could do. I'm just glad you're not hurt. It's yeah. a wonder with that hitting you in the well, face. Why are you, are you bad luck? You nope. Guys, I got no guys, luck at all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's better than bad luck, huh? <laughs> no, Dad, so I told him what happened. Was like I was like, dang, that was a good pass. And then literally right at the top end, just bam bam, stuff starts hitting me in the face, and I'm like what just happened? And then I was like, is there a GoPro? Because I hope that was caught. And then I was like, I got out and I did not know that my, I'm like driving at the top end with glass in my arms. Like just in the, I'm like, okay, I guess we're gonna stop now. Is there any GoPros in there? There wasn't no. GoPros. God, we needed GoPros in there. All right, and in this moment, Megan questioned if she still had a job or not, but don't worry, she does. And in fact, she ended up making the shirt to commemorate the situation that happened at the top end. It's an artist rendering of what it probably looked like up there. Parts everywhere. It's what we got from the video. Anyways, this is back to the drawing board. 212.45 mile an hour t-shirts available now on my site. The link is in the bio. Meg did a pretty good job with this. Knocked it out quick. So I guess, even though there's not a GoPro, we'll let her keep her job. Oh, my poor car. You guys want to take a quick selfie? <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and you were on a pass. Oh, there's my carnish moldings yeah. trash. Yeah. I didn't think about those. Can you fix it? That's off of my car. Is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my car is trash. Yeah, we, no, we can't fix that. What are you going to do? That looks good. 
have been worse. Oh, it could have been way worse. <laughs> I'm not that upset. I mean, I'm just I'm worried about how we're going to get to Chicago in time. You know what, Dad? The bright side is we have molds for this. If we needed an engine, a crank, or anything like that, we'd be screwed. Yeah. Way to look at the glass half full. Yeah. It is half full. <laughs> I, like I wish you guys, I you wish so bad there was, like, I wish so bad there was a GoPro. I'm so I Too bad you're not really quick. That's true. So we had 212 miles an hour. We still haven't broke those 680s. We're a mile an hour out the back. Uh, and the other good thing is we found the limit. It's a good thing? No. We, <laughs> we found it now. So basically, as you guys have figured out by now. We've we, seen lots of people blow their own doors off, right? Yeah, but not both of them. I think you, you <laughs> outdid them all. Blew both, them both them. off the windows, the tubs, the switches, the mirror, the, the garnish moldings, the trim. Busted the tub. Guys, really, there is a lot of damage, but it could have been a lot worse. The so, anyways, um, this wouldn't really be that big a deal, except we have to be to Chicago in like two weeks. I'm just really upset I don't get to see the in-car video of you getting hit in the face with the windshield. Wow, we could reenact it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. She cost me a lot of work. I cost myself a lot of money. True. <laughs> We're out time and money. But Especially we... after what I'm going to charge you. Oh, man. Double okay. time. <laughs> Do I get a raise? Yeah, you. Uh, the raise of free is double. The zero free. times zero is still zero. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, yeah, but really, really, it really could have been a lot worse. So it is, it is what it is. So we saved one piece of chrome and one garnish molding. The rest is trash. We have to get yeah. a new, we even have to get a new switch panel and mirror. And door handles and locks. Window moldings. Trims. The molding on front. Oh look, even this one. Yeah. Oh, daggone. This one's really hard to get. It's still fixable. I'm hoping that's fixable. It's fixable. All right guys, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, stay tuned. We need to go over some data. The main thing is we actually, it looks worse than it is, but we really did get a lot of testing done today. Yeah. 43 pounds of boost. We learned a lot and it yeah. motored out the back door. Yeah. yeah. It's not just 212, 212, 43. That's almost 212 and a half, which is almost 213. Yeah, which is dang near 215. It's almost 215. Which is practically 220. Which yeah. is just stupid. Can you imagine 220 and a 55 Chevy? Yeah. We were almost there. It was basically there. <laughs> If you do some math, just like if you squint your eyes, the 55 still looks like it's ready to go to Chicago. We could probably make the doors close and take it to Chicago. Honestly, I would race it like this. I know you would. We'll just duct tape the windshield. <laughs> All right, guys. We got a lot of work ahead of us, but somewhat of a successful day. Technically, this is a trophy. You just take that out? Yeah. Dude. So you're going to get all these comments about duct tape and JB Weld. That's Soon standard. Do. All right, the go. new catch can looks good. There was really nice air conditioning on the way back. Okay. Adios. We're done. Uh, as always, be happy, go fast, try to stay pretty. Sometimes it just doesn't try work out. Try to be out. happy. We're doing decent. You go really fast, I'll give you that. All right, anyway, we're done. We're going to eat. We're going to load this up. The doors still work. So. Uh, Look, did you even put dents in the garnish folder? Look. Yeah, yeah, it did. That's, How did it, that hit, that, that's where the window hit. We gotta leave that because that's that's like unbelievable. I got kind of lucky. <laughs> I don't know how it didn't knock you out. I don't know either. Oh, but, so. alright. We're done. Peace. And cut.